guys, it's Rachel here, and today I'm going to be filling for you guys another edition of Wine Fridays with Rachel, with special guest, Tequila. I'm out of the wine, so Tequila's gonna have to do. By the way, this is Tequila and Sunny D, living it up. So in today's edition of Wine Fridays with Rachel, or I should say Tequila Fridays with Rachel, I'm going to be filming for you guys a list of books, because I love lists. A list of 11 big ass books that I really want to get through. Not surprisingly, most of these are going to be fantasy or adult literary fiction. Most, some of them, I think two or three of them are going to be young adult, but majority, damn near all of them are fantasy or adult literary fiction. Some of these books I have started and some of these books are so intimidating to me that I don't want to start. These are not in any particular order and I may or may not know the exact synopsis of the books. So let's go ahead and let's get this party started. So coming in at number 11 is going to be The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. I have had this book sitting on my shelf for a really long time and I really, really want to read it. But I am not reading it for the most petty of reasons. I hate Mars Market paperback books so freaking much. In fact, this is a whole reason I have not read the Soulless series by Gail Carriger is because I have the box set of Mass Market Editions. I hate how small this is. I hate it. And this is like oh, almost 700 pages. So I'm thinking about splurging and getting the UK editions of these books because I just want to read it so bad, but I hate mass market editions. Plus, this is like a fantasy at its best. It's his thieves, and I've heard such good things about this book from so many of my really, really good friends. And I really want to read it. It's just kind of been kind of getting on my nerves, the fact that it's so small. Oh, also, just another side note, almost all of these books are going to be over 500 pages, if not over 600 pages. So let's just keep that in mind. The next book on the list is going to be a book that you might consider a faux pas. You might consider me to be blaspheming by saying I have not read this. But the next book on the list is going to be Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. No, I have not read Game of Thrones. None of it. And it is a travesty, really. I really want to read these books, but the problem I have is that I've seen most of the TV show and I have read and watched a ridiculous amount of Westeros history and I love it. I love the history. I love the stories, but for some reason these books are so intimidating to me. Plus, I am afraid that the last books will never be published. Winds of Winter will be, but I'm nervous about the seventh book. I really want to read these and I think I'm going to do it very very soon. I have all of the audiobooks from from Scribd, which is awesome because I love audiobooks, but even audiobooks are going to be over like 20 hours and that's a lot of time to spend on an audiobook. So that's where I am on this. I really really want to read Game of Thrones. I love the history of it. I love all of the horrible horrible characters in here and I really need to get to it, but it's just really intimidating to me. The next book on this list is a book that I really want to read, The Luminaries by Eleanor Canton. And this is going to be the beautiful UK edition that I love. Um, it is huge though. This edition just happens to be 822 pages long. It's very long, but I really want to read it. This was the Man Booker Prize winner for 2013 and Max has read this and he really liked it. And I really want to read it. I don't know what this book is about though. I'm pretty sure though that each section of the story is in different lunar like the moon's different um, shapes and I am really excited about this book and I really need to read it but for some reason I'm so intimidated by it's just giganticism the next book is a book that I really want to read but I'm really nervous about and that's going to be the name of the wind by Patrick Rothfuss and the reason I'm nervous about reading this book is not only it's staggering 600 in like 50 pages and the second books over a thousand pages but because Although I want to read this really bad, some of my really good friends that have read this book have not enjoyed it. They've said it's boring and that scares me. Spending so much time reading such a massive book and then finding that the story is boring is something I don't want to go through and although I really want to read this book because I've heard fantastic things from other people, the fact that some of my really good friends have not really enjoyed this, it scares me that I may not like this. That's why I haven't read it. Pathetic. 
The next book on the list is a book that I actually have started reading, and that's going to be The Mirror Empire by Cameron Hurley. I am currently 37 pages into this, and this book is a little over 500 pages. At first, this book was really intimidating to me because I wasn't sure what to expect from it, and I've only seen one other person read this, and that's Liz from Liz Loves Lit. So I was kind of nervous about this, but the more and more I've watched it and looked at it, I have really wanted to read it, so I went ahead and picked it up. This book is really interesting so far. It is told in not necessarily different perspectives, but it follows different characters and it is a fantasy and it's got some interesting gender um, things going on in here. The fluidity of gender is what it says in here but I am really enjoying this so far. I am liking the writing style and I'm hoping to really continue with it. This is a fantasy story of blood magic and war and all that good stuff. The next book on this list is another book that I am currently reading and I have slowed down on reading it even though I'm really enjoying it. It's just something that I feel like you have to be really smart to read it and I'm not saying I'm not smart but I feel like you have to really like know what's going on in here or really know what the words mean to really accept the fullness of the story and for me that's going to be A Little Life by Hanya Yanagara and this book is over 700 pages and I am currently 54 pages into it and although I am really really enjoying it I am finding myself kind of put off by how intellectual this book is this has got some big words in this bad boy but it is really really good so far I am really really enjoying it and I'm going to continue this book I'm going to read this throughout the summer even though I've heard that you can like fly through this this is just not a book that I myself could fly through fly through I am really really enjoying it though I can't really describe it to you guys because I can't find the words to describe it but I will go ahead and link you down to a uh, Max from Well Done Books review of this book. It is what made me want to buy this book and it is really good so far. I am not downing it for not being good. It's just really intimidating to me because it is so massive and the words are so tiny. Another book that I bought pretty much because of Max from Well Done Books is going to be The Goldfinch by Donna Tart. This is Donna Tart's third book and it took her 10 years to write this and although I am really really excited to read this book and I've heard phenomenal things of it again and this is another book that's very intimidating to me because it is over 700 pages and I although again have heard fantastic things over 700 pages is a big commitment to me and apparently I have commitment issues when it comes to big books. The next book on this list is going to be The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. This is a book that I have started and I'm 125 pages into and for some unknown reason stopped even though I freaking loved the Final Empire. So this is something that needs to be remedied like ASAP. I am probably going to continue with this this summer because I have been in the mood to finish books that I have just for some reason put down for no reason. This is the second book in the Mistborn trilogy and again I absolutely loved it but because I was so heartbroken by one of the characters that is not in here I am hesitant but I'm still really really enjoying it so why Rachel why? The next book is another travesty that I have not read and it's going to be Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness. This is the third book in the Chaos Walking Trilogy and this is the finale to the Chaos Walking Trilogy. I read the first book in a read-along, the second book just because I decided to pick it up and I have not read the third book and I don't know why I really want to read it. And the pages are so easy to get through and the margins are so huge and but I'm so afraid about how this book is going to end because I really really love the second book and the third first book was it was really good at first and or it was kind of meh at first and then it got really good and I don't know I'm so nervous to read this book so nervous but I've heard such good things that I really just need to just stop and put my fears aside and just just let it happen just let it happen and the next book on the list is another one that I just need to read and I don't know why I haven't read it yet and it's going to be Froy of the Exiles by Melina Marchetta I got this book before I was even done reading Finnegan of the Rock because I was so in love with Finnegan of the Rock and I really really want to read this book but it is intimidating this book is almost 600 pages and although it is going to be a very very fast read for me because I love the sto first story so much it is still really intimidating to me and I am weak. And the final book that I really really need to get to and really want to read and will read very soon I swear is going to be Battle Royale by Koshan Takami. This is pretty much what everybody compares The Hunger Games to even though this book came out first. This is pretty much, it follows a group of, of students that are taken to this island and they pretty much have to kill each other until there's one left standing 
This apparently is a horrific book and so much more graphic than The Hunger Games and I really want to read it and I don't know why I haven't and I've had it for a really long time. I'm just kind of nervous about it and I just don't know what I'm doing with my life. So yes, those are the 11 books that are big and that I really want to read even though I am intimidated by them. If you have read any of these books and you think that I should read them as soon as possible, leave me, let me know down below so we can talk about it. But other than that guys, thanks so much for commenting, liking, subscribing, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye bye!